So the most of you know that I really like this animation that matches to the movement of the hands. And for that, I've got this amazing SD card hologram animation. For this animation, you need only two things. The first one is the clip where you pretend like you open up here the hologram and then you move through these different folders and you select a clip or whatever you want. And for that, I've made a screen recording of a folder here on my SSD. And you can see I come in with the mouse, select here the next one, go away with the mouse so that we have here this orange line over the new folders. And you see I'm coming in again, select the next one, going out, coming in, select the next one and going out and so on. And now we need to align these different folders with the movement of the hand. So that means we disable this clip for now. We only want to have here the clip with the SD card. And first we're gonna set some markers up here on the timeline. So that means we start and here when I tap the second time on the SD card, I set a marker because here we will pop up the animation. Then we go further and here I scroll down one time, set a marker, next time set a marker, Every time I touch the SD card, we set a new marker. So we know exactly, okay, there's something to do. And here I tap on twice again. So I set here the last marker. So these are all the markers where something happens in this animation. Now we take this clip back and we just cut out the sections that we need and we will freeze that frames. We just need here the first one, set here a cut, wait until the next one is selected, let it roll a second, cut it out, next one, let it roll, cut it out. Now you see we have frames from all different folders and files I go through. So I select all of them, make sure the playhead is here on the first frame, change clip speed and freeze all the frames. So we can adjust the length from the clips we want to have. So we drag them over here. So you have seen here on the first marker, the whole animation appears. So I take this first clip here then here on the second marker, there needs to be the next folder. So I place this right here. Then the next one here to the marker, the next one here to the marker, until you have aligned all the clips with the movement of your finger. And make sure to clear here all the gaps. Then we have something like that. And make sure here the first and the last clip is to the same length as your clip below. So just we are free with the timing from the animation when it should pop up and when it should uh, disappear again. And to check if everything's right, select all of them, turn down the opacity to around 30% or 40% and then let the clip roll. And so you see if the, the movement of your finger matches with the cuts you did. But that looks perfectly fine. So we can leave it like that. Turn the opacity back down to 100 and then create with them a new compound clip. So we have only one clip and not six or seven separate because it makes it way easier later in the fusion page. Then select both of them, the compound clip and the clip below, create with them a new fusion clip and jump right into fusion. Here in the fusion page, delete the merge and the background node, then click on the right little dot. You can see this is the SD card clip. So I place it down here connected to the media out. Let me rename them real quick and make sure your media out is on the right viewer again. So first what we need to do is we need to track here the SD card. Here with the SD card selected, hit shift and spacebar and type in tracker. In the studio version of DaVinci Resolve, you have the IntelliTracker. In the free version, you have the point tracker. It works as well. Here on adaptive mode, go to best match. Then select the high contrast point. I select here the edge of number two and then track it back and forth. And here on the right window, you can check if the tracker does a good job. So I think it looked very good. Just here at the ending where I tap on the SD card, I think the tracker made a jump. Here it jumped over to the eight. So I just select not this one. I select here this little icon and put it back where it needs to be. Like that you can adjust it frame by frame when the tracker did not a good job. Then make sure here on operation, go to match move. So everything we plug here on the foreground on the green input is tracked here to the SD card. And this is what we're going to do. We take here the folder and plug it into the green input. So this folder here is tracked to the SD card. Now to position here this folder right, with the folder selected hit shift and spacebar and type in DVE. 
We take the DVE node instead of the transform node because we can flip it over. So it really sticks in our scene like it's 3D tracked, but it's obviously not. That's why we select here the DVE node. And then simply place this folder where you want it to have. I want it to have all the way up here like that. Maybe I give it a bit of a rotation here and tilt it a bit more to the back like the SD card. So it's perfectly aligned with the SD card. And then I simply go here through the timeline and check if it looks good like that. But in my opinion, this looks very, very nice. Now we do some adjustments here to this folder to make it look way better, way more engaging, more like a hologram. So it really stands out in your animation and it just doesn't look normal like that. So first we hit shift and spacebar and put on a luma here. So this makes this whole thing a bit more transparent. Play around here with the settings until you're happy with the look. I just make it a bit more like that. So when I turn it on and off, you can see it's not much of a different, but it gets a bit more transparent. And this is what I like with this hologram. Then what I also like is with the luma here selected, hit shift and spacebar, type in soft glow. Then down here on color scale, I just reduce the red a little bit so it gets a bit more of a teal look, just like that. And here once again with the gain and with the glow size, just play around with these settings until you think that looks good in your opinion. And one last thing I want to add is I make a bit more space here with the soft glow selected, hit shift and spacebar, type in transform. Don't take here the transform XF, take here the normal transform node, so this one and add this one because here down on image adjustments we can round here the edges so i just put up the slider a little bit and you can see here the edges are getting round and this is what i want to have and i give it a bit here of edge softening so when you look at the before and after it makes the hologram just a little bit more softer and in my opinion it looks a bit better like that so all what we've done here is just to make this whole animation more high quality, it stands more out and it looks like your own creation. That's very important when you do some stuff like that. And now we just need to animate it that it comes out here of the SD card. For that we can select here the DVE node and open up your splines. Because when you go through the timeline, you can see down here on the splines, you have here your first mark. So when I tap the second time on the SD card, so here I want to have the animation to appear. Make here a bit more space. Then with the DVE node selected, go here to set move and center X and Y and set on both a keyframe. Then I go 10 frames further because I want the animation to have 10 frames. And I set also a keyframe on both. So this is the end position of the appear animation. Then I'll go back these 10 frames and I position the hologram here behind the SD card like that. So when I go further these 10 frames, it appears here from this SD card. Then make sure go to settings, enable here motion blur, quality and shutter angle all the way up. And now we want to animate something different. I want to animate here like a, a stream, it's like a hologram stream that comes out here from the SD card. So it really looks like it, it comes out of it. And we can do it with a background node and a polygon. So first plug in here the background node to the SD card and make sure it is before your whole animation here. Because when you put it afterwards, it's in front and we want to have it in the background of, of this whole animation. So put it here before this whole animation so you can see it's in the background. Then plug in the polygon mask and now we're gonna create here this stream. So select the polygon mask and I will start maybe down here and I will just make a shape like that. Go over here and I want to make the shape to go back in from up here. So that's pretty much the shape I want to have. Now you can select here on the background a color you want to have. I want to have it also like here, light blue, slightly green color. But now it's way too strong. So I turn down the alpha and then I go here more into the black. So it gets more transparent because we turned on here the alpha. Something like that. And then we add here after the background a soft glow and adjust this soft glow 
as we want it to have like that and go here to the polygon and make more like a soft edge so it looks way softer and now we have just a background we want to have this more like a wobbly streaming thing so for that here after the soft glow we hit shift and spacebar and type in this place and with nothing selected hit shift and spacebar and type in fast noise so we connect the fast noise with the green input to the displays and here the background and the soft glow should be placed in with the yellow input that's very important then put the fast noise in the left viewer so this is what the fast noise looks like some wobbly strange looking thing like that and this is what we want to achieve that this whole stream looks more like wobbling and it's moving so for that turn here the seeth rate all the way up so when we play it 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 wobbles around here and here nothing will happen until you go here to the displace node and play around here with the refraction strength. As soon as I put it up or down you can see something is happening here. I put it to around let's say 1. Then I go back to the fast noise and now you can adjust here the fast noise node. And you can see it gets very weird shapes. So you can play around here until you're happy with, with the shape. So I think it looks very cool like that. So if you want you can copy here the settings from the fast noise. I did it like that. And the displace node I did it like that. So I'm happy with these adjustments. So now you have this little extra touch. It really looks like it, coming, it comes out here of the SD card. But we forget one thing. It's not tracked. To do that just delete here the merge node. Take this tracker. Copy it over and connect it by holding down shift. You can connect it here in between and plug the displace node in and it's tracked. And if the position is not right, take the polygon mask and just put it there where it needs to be. And your animation is tracked as well. And of course we want to let it appear as well. So you can see down here on the splines, here on frame 32, we let the, the folder appear. So select the polygon. Put here the level down to zero, set the keyframe, go 10 frames further where the animation appeared, put it all the way up to one, settings, motion blur, all the way up. Then click here on zoom to fit. Here you have all your keyframes that we have set. Select all of them with command or control A, press S to smoothen them, then press T. And here on ease in, put it to around 80. This will make your animation way smoother. Then you can close the splines. We have one last thing at the end. I want to have here the SD card on the foreground. Sadly, this is only available in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. For that, we select here the SD card, copy it over with command or control C, plug it in here all the way at the end. So we have the clip all the way in the foreground. Then with the SD card selected, hit shift and spacebar, type in magic mask. And now we will create here a mask over this SD card over my finger too because if it gets affected we have it in the foreground. Click on better and track it the whole clip so the SD card and the finger is in front here of this, of this hologram stream. And your animation should look like this. A controllable SD card hologram animation with a hologram stream. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.